All right, everybody, welcome to episode two of the trailer build. Today, you join me in the shop garage area because it is windy outside and it is cold and we got a new toy. This is our new angle grinder to take off some of the old rust and paint that is currently on the trailer and we will be painting over it. Why does it still do that? Why is it not making a sandwich? Ah. Well, after all that messing around, I have found the culprit. Get to that bad boy. Put her right there. And... All right, so sorry in advance for the HVAC noise. I did a good bit of work off camera. I moved the whole trailer into the backyard just so it's closer to the shed. And then basically after that, uh, I went through every little piece of rust. I ground it off with the angle grinder with a flap disc. And then I put this um, Rust-Oleum paint over rust, brown paint that basically is just gonna help prevent rust in the future and basically just give me a nice primer that I can use for um, the next stage of paint. One thing I forgot to mention was I ground the whole axle down and did the whole axle in that paint over rust. So it's been really cold the past couple days and I've been doing a lot of work off camera just because it's been hard to use the camera and, and film and it's just been a lot of little things. So I ended up taking the tires off, wheels and tires off. I disconnected the lights all around and everything should be ready for paint. Uh, I'm gonna do a self etching primer on the whole trailer and then it's either gonna be a bed liner or spray paint bed liner. Um, I don't know if I wanna justify the cost of spending almost $200 on bedlining the trailer when it's just going to be dinged up and on the road the whole time. That's enough of the trailer update. Now I'm going to go back into my room and I will show you guys the actual design. I've been 3D modeling the trailer. I'll uh, head back in there and I'll show you guys what I've been working on. This is the design here that I've been working on. Um, basically, it's just gonna be the four by eight square built right on top of the frame. Gonna have the back kitchen here, and then the inside is gonna have a six foot bed. Um, I'm gonna have some sort of flip up counter space here. I'm gonna have some sort of pull out drawer for a cooler, and up here, obviously, this is not gonna work how I made it, but gonna have something like this um, for water jug storage and as a sink, cause I can put a uh, collapsible basin down there and then this will fold down like that, be nice and flat. Um, and this is still a pretty rough sketch. Like I haven't done any of the wall thicknesses. Everything's just at the three quarter inch plywood. I still have to account for the insulation. And then on the inside, this gives you a view of how there's gonna be a shelf on this interior wall. I've kind of tried to give an idea of that internal wall thickness with the insulation and the inside wall built in but there's gonna be a shelf here and this is gonna house my portable power station I'm probably gonna go with a Jackery 500 because the only power usage I'm gonna have is LED strip lights running along the inside walls and under here and under here and then uh, charging phones obviously charging lanterns stuff like that and then possibly later on down the line I will incorporate a a diesel heater into there and that will be also be powered off of the Jackery. This is just a mock-up door here as well. It's probably going to be some sort of vintage technologies uh, teardrop door that is going to be the oval shape with a window here with a vent and then I didn't model it but I will definitely have some sort of roof fan and then since I'm going with the Jackery they have the portable solar panels and I will most likely incorporate some sort of plug for that. So yeah, um, I know this was quite a short video compared to the last one. It's, it's been pretty cold lately, so I just wanted to get a video out and get the, a little bit of progress done and also show you guys um, a better idea of what we're actually going to be building here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be, hopefully, fingers crossed, painting the frame. So you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.